Hi, my name is Andrew Heath, and today I want to talk a little bit about a concept of delegation. Now, I want to tell a story about someone that I knew a while back. I was working in a law firm, and he was a lawyer. He was a brilliant lawyer. He was able to handle all kinds of family and um, criminal cases. He did a lot of defense. He was completely bilingual. He had gone to school in California and was licensed, at least in the state that I live in and probably some other states. Absolutely brilliant man and was able to give a lot of good advice to his clients. But my office was located right next to his. And I noticed something interesting when I was working there. Um, I would hear these noises coming from his office and it'd be like, Ugh, or Ugh. I would hear these noises coming from his office. I had no idea what they were. I tried to ignore them at first, but finally I, I asked my boss, uh, what's going on in that office? And she told me that he was frustrated because he was losing his files. And he was frustrated because he kept getting interrupted by telephone calls. So my boss and I decided to try to tackle this problem with him. We took a Saturday, we met with him, and we sat down and we came up with a very simple two-part plan. The first part was, first, whenever someone called the office and asked for him, that call would come to me instead of going to him. I would take a message and I would give him the messages at the end of the day or throughout the day even. If it was an emergency, I could, I could triage those messages and um, he could decide when he wanted to call them back when he had time. That way he wasn't constantly having to be interrupted by calls that may, he may not need to take. The second thing we did was, uh, since he was losing files all the time, uh, I decided, or we decided, that I would simply do his filing for him. So he was able to take out any file he wanted, and when he was done with it, there was a shelf in his office, he would just put that file on the shelf. At the end of every day, I went in and I filed that those files for him. That way, when he got to the office the next morning, his office was neat and clean, the files were in alphabetical order, and he wouldn't have any trouble finding something that he didn't know where it, he put it two days before. So the point of the story, uh, there are probably several points to the story, but one is, despite the fact that he was so brilliant, there are certain things that he just either couldn't do or didn't need to do. So I'm gonna turn this around and take this to you. If you're a business owner, a department manager, a desk clerk, it doesn't matter what you are, what, what level of the organization you're at, I would ask you, is there something or are there things that you absolutely don't need to do? For example, if you're a business owner or a department manager, do you really need to write letters or emails to people? Can you just give some points and give that to someone else? Do you really need to make a phone call to make an appointment? Do you really need to uh, generate your own sales leads if you're, in, if you're in charge of sales? Do you need to make the initial contact to those potential clients? Maybe someone else could do that and at least get the name of the decision maker so that when you call, you know who to ask for. And this last one is a little bit contentious, but I would say, do you even need to do the simple things like washing the dishes at the office, cleaning the kitchen, cleaning your office, or making the coffee? The fact is, you may not need to do these things. And it, even if you think it's elitist to ask people to do these things for you, it may save you a lot of time, it may raise your status, and there's no reason you can't thank your employees or whoever is, is helping you with this by occasionally giving them a gift card to Starbucks. For example, if they make your coffee and say, thank you for making my coffee, I'd like to give you one. So those are just some examples of things that you can delegate in your business life. But what about your personal life? I would ask you, do you really need to take your car to get the oil changed? Do you really need to arrange for flowers to go to your spouse? Can someone else do these things? You might say, well, no one else can write a, a letter to my spouse or a note to my spouse like I can. No one else can pick the right flowers. No one else knows where to take my car. But the fact is, it doesn't matter what you're doing, even if it's something simple like writing a speech for the local organization or club or church that you have to give a talk at, there may be someone else that can do these things for you. So to wrap up this video, the points here, there are two main ones, and they involve trust and giving up control. 
The question is, do you trust or can you trust someone, anyone, to do any or all of these things for you? And the second is, are you willing to give up control? Because some people might say, uh, you know, if you want something done right, you have to do it yourself. But that's not true. Other people can do things right, too. The, the real quote would be, if you want something to, done the way you want it done, you may have to do it yourself. But that's where giving up control comes in. And the paradox is, if you give up control, you may find you actually have more because you have more time to do the things that are important and you spend less time on things that can be done at other levels. Now I want to close this video with a story that one of my professors told a class when I was in college in the late 90s. And he said, if someone is on a ride at Walt Disney World, Disneyland, whatever, and they throw up, and they vomit everywhere, it's a mess, you don't call the vice president of operations to clean it up. That's not because he's too good to clean it up. It's because he doesn't have time. You always want something done at the lowest level, and that's smart business. That's the way you're supposed to do it. I hope that was helpful. I'd love to see your comments. Have a very nice day.